we i need to give you an additional intro i already recorded one but there's so much that i need to tell you beforehand that i just need to re-record the intro we're gonna download the epic games patch up which makes the epic game version nvse capable and therefore we can download mods like viva new vegas but it gets more complicated than that because the Wabacek version doesn't work i've tested that it just gives me an error code this is new mm, installation failed damn it you need to download every mod manually and that are like there are like 50 mods something like that that you need to download manually so it works first of all you need to download the epic games patcher which i'm gonna make an extra long goddamn list for you of mods to download first of all epic games patcher manually and then the nvse in the vortex mod manager and then i will make you a vortex mod manager and manual list in which order you download all of those mods that work and are recommended with viva las vegas some mods sadly do not work with viva las vegas ah uh, for example where is it where is it damn i aren't even there yet i aren't even there yet the ultimate edition ASM fixes and the 4 gigabyte patch, for example, do not work with the Epic Game version. Also, you will have to use the Vortex Mod Manager. Apparently, the, Vo the Mod Manager, they recommend you Viva Las Vegas, which is the yeah, their Mod Manager MO2 Mod Organizer 2. That's the one their mod manager doesn't work with the epic game version the vortex mod manager apparently works only and i've gotten it to work with it already beforehand and now with those mods that are from the viva las vegas list that use nvse they do work with the vortex mod manager so you need vortex mod manager you need the epic games patch up then you can download the new vegas script extender and then you can go through this list or through the list i give you in the descriptions which cancels out the mods that do not work something that works for example is the bsa decompressor that works as a manual download and the other two mods that come afterwards the ultimate edition esm fixes and the four gigabyte patch that did not work for me so it's gonna get complicated you can also use the old mod list i gave you which aren't required on the nvse's mods and just use some of that everything you can download with the vortex mod manager will work that's the complicated start so go through the description and the mods that will make your game run smoother that do work is pretty much what i'm trying to tell you and then look through the tutorial on how to download the epic games patch that's gonna come after this intro into the next intro extra complicated i know i know okay ah oh, before we get to the epic games patch though Hello, subscribe to my channel i'm not a thousand subscribers yet so which means that if you saw an ad beforehand youtube takes all that money because i'm not getting ad money yet i only get ad money if i'm over a thousand subscribers so youtube is screwing me over still because i'm at 300 something subscribers and i'm not getting ad money from videos that get a lot of views so subscribe damn it and then Go through the description and go through the rest of my tutorial which i will cover most things you will need to know which will be a lot of editing hours and powers see you in the other intro Blah. so the epic games patra is back online it was down 
for like one or two weeks after it came out probably too many troubleshooting errors and bugs and now it's back and i'm gonna try to install it with you this mod gives you n n uh, nvse support new vegas script extender support it patches the game down to the steam version which apparently runs worse but with modding you can fix that and then we're gonna try to install viva las vegas together let's download that together for the epic files which i'm gonna slow download of course which if you don't know where your folder will be you go on the epic store this is all for the epic store by the way and then you have manage here and your folder symbol opens your folder and you're gonna pack that in here next to the exe next to the exe um and i put that on my bar next to this which makes it easier to find otherwise i would put that in my download order download folder and put it there manually and now i gotta extract it which it extracts it automatically into my download folder but uh i'm gonna also put it right here uh we got ourselves a patcher that's part of the patcher and those two three files are part of the patcher i don't think that's the right readme No, I don't think that's the right readme. Okay, let's get rid of that zip file and start up the patron. Hopefully it works. Okay, my PC tell me it's malware risk, but I already did that, so trotzdem ausführen wir. This is the first thing you're gonna get. It just checks if you put it in your right folder and runs it through stuff patch completed successfully now we're gonna press a random button and now we're gonna open it again and the game is already patched that's what we want that's the right thing that we want beforehand i got invalid executable and i couldn't get it to work other people got it to work i couldn't get it to work now it works better and easier so that's all we need and now we can run or download the new vegas script extender let me just go through the options options through the message right here unpack the contents to your english folder next to the exe file and run the patcher you will see a black console that's what we just saw and there will be a process no import is required but it will tell you if an error has occurred which did not happen when it's done and you see patching completed successfully printed you can close the window and proceed to install other mods such as new vega script extender i'm using vortex by the way and vortex when i switch profiles tells me automatically that it wants me to install the script extender in a second they're gonna tell me that probably Start the game through the Epic Launcher or the Mod Manager, which is Vortex, not the New Vegas Loader. Forget it exists, it's safe to delete it. But we still need to download it apparently, which is weird. Um... <laughs> Don't run that. If you get the invalid executable error, verify your game files on Epic Games and make sure the game is up to date which is right here so you click on the dots and press manage and the first thing verify files and then it checks everything and then you try it again if you get the invalid executable thing which hopefully you won't get and his recommended mod god damn it a fly just flew in my face is viva new vegas which is the thing we're gonna try next then i need to read through that first myself but let's see what vortex tells us there script extender not found let's install that and download slow download and then um, we can basically start up our game we're gonna see if it crashes 
it also throws that into my folder automatically now because I already downloaded the other stuff in there. You need a 7-zip or WinRA file executable to open that up. I'm gonna extract that to new Vegas script extender right here with 7-zip. That's my preferred one. can tell you how it works with WinRA. And then I'm gonna delete the file that we just opened with 7-zip because there's the script extender and you drag that I don't think actually I don't think you need to drag that in anymore no no a text message I think I can put that right here and leave it because Vortex managed it if it would be a manual download I feel like it changes then okay let's start up the game let's see first of all if it crashes immediately i got 18 mods which i need to delete now because i get the new vegas script extender now installed if you don't want viva las vegas there are a whole bunch of other mods that you probably will install then to make your game run smoother sure 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 oh more bosses ah, okay don't get distracted start the game start the game let's see okay sometimes i get audio glitches when i start this up and talk in the same time that's a mod we're loading right into the mod that's into the deep which i need to delete now then for viva las vegas which needs to be installed clean probably yeah okay no crashes that's good so everything seems to be in order i can go out now broken vault security on good 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 yeah you can now work with the new vega script extender which is weird because this is a whole weird journey of me uh, releasing a video first saying you can't mod because this mod didn't exist back then the epic patcher then i made a list of mods that you can download that don't need the new vega script extender and now we're back with this mod that works now <sighs> and it's yeah it's it's working again with new vega script extender this is a weird modding journey a weird modding journey three videos that go back and forth almost and steve ai is pretty much the guy who also i believe made the fallout 3 patcher and tweaks and tweaks okay and tweaks yo i'm gonna do some viva las vegas researches and see you with that that's something new if you know how you can use vortex instead oh hey they updated it oh god okay so you can't use mod organizer apparently ah but you can use it with vortex god now i need to try this too and delete all the other files but um the rubber check version doesn't seem to work so if you use the rubber check version it fails automatically because it can't find the exit from the epic store so you need to do it manually which is uh, way much more way much more work way much more work and this has been just updated like a few minutes ago because i read through it oh, okay i'm gonna look a little bit more into that into that uh, a lot of things you need the english version of the game the german one does not work the german releases uses no go version making it incompatible with the new vegas script extender here they say the epic game store version doesn't work but it will work now since we downloaded the patcher uh, only the english version works is pretty much all you need to know you need to download runtime libraries which i have done uh, it's not the same thing though i downloaded them somewhere else 
all in one download here okay those are just servers d for me i guess ah oh, do i put that in here i'm pretty sure i'll put it somewhere else oh i'm pretty sure i'll put it into my download folder or i didn't at once so i'm just gonna check with you what it does install yeah trotz them do it do it now okay let's see it's it's running it's running i'm gonna check with you when it's finished running the window closed itself automatically so it's done now it shouldn't be done and that's where you download you download the one that's nearest to you that's pretty much it okay let's start with the complicated stuff and see if we can get that to work with the vortex manager first of all they want a clean installation which means you need to delete your files again which is kind of bad because we already downloaded the patcher and in this case we would need to re-download the patcher and try that again <sighs> But I have that already installed in the right space in the SSD. Which I'm gonna just try it because it's where it should be. Which means in data E it shouldn't be in a C file. It shouldn't be on your desktop. It should be in a C program file. And it's already with me in data E right here on an SSD. And I already downloaded the patcher which means uh, hopefully i've done everything right but they want you to download or delete everything if you have that on c program files do that and reinstall the game and also delete your saves folder if you want to have a backup that's my epic storm folder i just copied that Good. copy it I just copied that, made myself a backup folder here, and that's where my saves are. So I can readjust them and put them back in here. But yeah, this is gonna get complicated. Normal modding will probably be easier. So if you have that in your wrong folders, or if you don't have an SSD, it's gonna be bad for you anyways. I'm gonna try that immediately without uninstalling the game and then reinstalling it. That's Steam installing the game. Ah, oh, that's also for Steam. We don't need that. Let's ignore that. Post installation, that's where the new stuff happens. So, they tell you where you should have your root folders. Uh, if you download with Epic Store, let's just press download a new game here in store. They ask you which folder you want to use. You're going to browse folders. You're gonna get your PC and that's where your SSD will and you download that onto an SSD, not under C. That's how you download it in the right place. Okay. That's something where the folder is gonna show you your ends here, DDL access, which you wanna have. Oh, I don't even know which one I have. It's German here, details. Which, if you don't know, if you don't have that already, that your axes are showing at the end of the sentence, then follow this English guide because my German one is a bit different. Details, I mean, details and details is pretty much the same word. You want details to show you the details of your files generating fresh in this if you started the game or downloaded it again installed it again you need to start it one then select ultra preset i can do that real quick i can't launch it here i can launch it here you wanna have everything ultra i'm pretty sure i have everything ultra anyways and okay guess i need to launch the game now again see you in a second
Okay. I've been running the game once. Now it gets complicated because they want you to configure and install mod organizer. Which we're gonna see when we're gonna come in. And damn. Ah, uh, actually, never mind. You need to do that with mod organizer. So we're gonna skip also this step. We're gonna skip every step here and start downloading the mods manually. And that starts with New Vega Script Extender, which means we need to activate the game on the vortex, which is under here. Fallout New Vegas, Fallout New Vegas. Fallout which we have here i've already shown that once man really that oh my voice is dying it's that part of the video again okay activate it ah they want script extender to be installed so let's install that i already downloaded it before is that the right one Let's see which one the site gives us. Mm, this one. Yeah, it's the right one. It's the right one. Definitely the right one. So we can download that with Vortex right now. And that's the first thing we're going to do. And then we're going to go through that whole not manually, you fool. With the mod manager. That's something we need to do. That's a different list this time. That's what I've talked about. If you get this list, it's this far, I'm pretty sure. But we had the other list. Let's ignore that. Let's ignore that and use the normal one we got from here. Okay, download slow download and then we're gonna get that onto a vortex manager that's gonna be a quick one that's the first mod we're gonna install which now we have fallout new vegas here every download script extender invalid primary tool what mm -hmm. Let's see if it launches. It launched before. It takes a while from time to time. Or oh, if we're gonna get an error message, which would be bad. Nope. Okay, good. Now that seems to work. Now we are gonna have a gigantic list here of things we need to download. Like the BSR compressor. We're pretty much gonna go through every single one of those and download it in that order which i'm gonna spare you most of them except for the more important thing that's gonna get more complicated but we're gonna start with the bsa decompressor which is also a mod and we're gonna download everything damn it with the vortex mod manager nope not this one okay let me read through that and then we're gonna see what it does Download the mod manually, put it into your Fallout New Vegas folder where the exe file is and extract that with 7-zip. Where is it? They are decompressed. There's an exe file, let's try to press it right here, otherwise we need to pull it. Mm, okay, I can browse the path which we have that right on top here but now it's will decompress and it takes probably forever okay see you with when that's finished okay the decompression is done and it tells us that nothing under the data folder should have a new bsa files ending which we didn't get i guess that's something you will get when you download the game in a C program file and not on an SSD, then you would have to rechange that, which you can read through this text. But if you have files with the new 
text in them you need to remove the new but just you know denaming it denaming it okay we can exit this and start with the next mod okay ultimate edition asm fixes does not work with the epic store version i just tested it and also there's a comment to confirm that doesn't work with the epic game version but even using the downgrader it doesn't work with that so you gonna have to skip this one four gigabyte patch hopefully that works at least okay i just tried to download the four gigabyte patcher and it also does not work our front we're running it the xfrs administrator i verified it apparently doesn't work with the epic game store version so this one and this one you can skip new vegas heap replacer i downloaded this one it works because it just overrides the root folder so where is it Heap replacer you download that manually put it into your new vegas file folder extract the seven zip file and you're gonna get a folder and then you extract everything over this folder and that's it with this one everything else here downward our mod manager installations which were are we here this one mod manager this one we already had johnny guitar is a mod manager download so everything you can download with a mod manager you can download that and throw that onto vortex for example this one we already have the script extender this one we already have that so we're just gonna download that get that in our vortex and when we get that one done and it's downloaded here it was a quick download we're gonna go go through the next mod and download everything that we can with the more text mod manager not everything will work here as we've seen already with the four gigabyte patcher and the ultimate edition esm fixes those two do not work everything else should work because it's an easy download with the more tech vortex mod manager okay i have downloaded everything except for showing off nvse for a reason because the first comment on the modders page is it doesn't work with the epic game store version of new vegas so i'm gonna skip that i don't want to do that anyways i'm gonna skip that so your vortex mod manager should look like that which there are also conflicts we're gonna try to solve there were no description about why those conflicts are here and how to solve them so i'm just gonna put the new vegas tick fix tick fix tick fix first over the preset ah before and hopefully that resolves it we'll say yeah yeah looks like it's resolved by the way i will have already said that but i will have my description here under youtube where you can look up in which order to download those mods and i will leave the mods out that won't work anyways so you're gonna have those mods in this order to download it will make it easier so you don't need to go through the viva new vegas site and test like i do everything one by one ah uh, but i still will throw that in for you okay second page bug fixes a lot of that stuff should work the only thing that i've seen that doesn't work is improve the eye because you need an extra patch which probably will get things way too difficult but everything else you can download with the mod manager and that's a goddamn long list that's such a long list ah uh, and then there's way much more so oh, i will link you the viva new vegas page if i do that myself and link you up every every goddamn mod then it will be very complicated this looks like it could cause trouble yeah this one 
this one is something else okay i'm guessing vanilla ui plus is something you should then not download and damn uh, look at all that goddamn stuff this would work with the mod manager yeah that's a goddamn long list that's a goddamn long list and it's not done there we're only at gameplay stuff and there is so much here to download manually Whew. so much here to download manually I'm, I'm done here i'm done here overhauls so basically you just download everything you want and can with the mod manager most of that stuff will work by default then sometimes you're gonna see missing masters which means they are depending on dlc's which you have anyway so that's a lie it's a lie <sighs> so if you want that mod list you will have to go through a whole bunch of files that are maybe optional too that's the viva new vegas way the rubber check version just doesn't work and i'm not gonna go through all of that because there's way too much that's way too much but there yeah, you can see optional performance hit infos what works what doesn't work but that's a whole goddamn list i can't go through every single file the most important ones have been taken care of oh whew. yeah that's a gigantic list i can't do that list whew. finishing notes you can download and make that work with vortex i can start the game up that's what comes beforehand then you launch the game so if you have one or two hours you need to go through manually and play with that and then you can see everything starts up yeah let's see let's see what happens let's see what happens i'm over in combat but this gun runners as now okay this is gonna load me everything it looks a little bit cleaner i feel like already looks a little bit cleaner good good let me just get out of here before everything needs to load in back again that's a whole goddamn list i'm gonna re-record the intro right now oh <sighs> but yeah 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 see ya see ya see ya i haven't even downloaded half of it yet and I'm giving up on downloading everything immediately. Intro time recording. Support my channel. Leave a like. Uh, subscribe. Hell, subscribe. So those videos don't just get abused by YouTube. And they are the only ones making ad money from this. I need over a thousand subscribers. So YouTube stops screwing me. But not giving me money. Which is bad. Bad. Check out my music video links. They are good from time to time. And that as music video editing vice. And test your way through Viva Las Vegas.